opportunity to experience the promises of God. As we move forward, you remember, you remember as, as God told the prophet, yeah, he was at the brook and he said, go, go, go see the, the widow Zarephath. Remember the brook dried up? And first of all, he said, get thee there. Talking about the brook. And, and the brook, the, you know, it watered him. And the ravens brought the, 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 the meat from the king's table. He said, get thee there. If he hadn't have been there, he'd have never ate or drank. He never ate her. And the, the widow Zarephath, when the, when the brook dried up, he said, okay, now you get thee there. Now, no Lord, come on. You understand, widows in that day and time, they didn't have money. They were homeless. They were penniless. And God said, hey, you go there and I'm going to feed The widow's going to feed you. He said, really? The widow? By the way, that was a humbling experience <laughs> for that man in that day and time to go to a widow lady and say, uh, help me. Right. That was a humbling experience. But he said, get thee there. And so he said, hey, what you doing? She said, well, I'm getting two sticks. That's a pitiful fire, isn't it? Two sticks? And I got a little meal. Mix it with some water. Going to make two cakes, and we're just going to eat them and die. Boy, she's optimistic. <laughs> He's probably going, I don't know if God meant for me to come here. <laughs> But do you understand when God said, get thee there? Can you imagine when them ravens flew over and dropped that stake? And he went, wow. What <laughs> oh, is this good? You see, if by faith, if he didn't go there, he'd have never experienced the right. promises of God. Yeah. And then God said, go see the widow Zarephath. Uh, Zarephath. Lord, it's a widow. And he's probably questioned himself the whole time there and when he gets there he says what you doing I've got I'm getting me two sticks going to build a fire me and my son we're going to make these two cakes eat them and die and when she said that he probably went Lord you sure because <laughs> she didn't feed herself every day she went in got some more meal Amen. Got some more oil. That's right. It just never ran dry. Amen. Amen. He'd have never experienced that if by faith he went, he said, Hey, I'm going. That's right. I'm going. Church will never experience anything like that. Amen. We have to step out and go by faith. Sure. In our church and your Christian life, you've got to step out by faith. I want to see God. Somebody said, oh, are, are you having a, a you know, healing service, a miracle service? You're not going to see that because you don't even step out. And I'm not talking about somebody growing, you know, uh, legs to even out or something crazy like that. But I'm talking about, you know what? God do, sending a great revival, Amen. sending something great in our life, or doing something wonderful. We don't step out by faith, so why do we expect God to do anything? Mm -hmm. Right. We don't expect, well, tell you what, I don't, I, I wonder if somebody, I doubt anybody's going to get saved at church. Well, you might not see it if you don't come. That's right. That's right. You might not see it unless, you know, I, I just, I've never seen anybody saved. Well, have you ever witnessed anybody? We talked in Sunday school about that waitress at the, at the restaurant. Well, I, I, I wonder if she can get saved. Well, you won't know until you witness, until you give a gospel track. That's by faith.